In Pakistan, our, our main initiative is innovation and in risk financing and, and risk assessment. What we're doing is working with very good technical experts and understanding the, the, the risks and creating consensus on that risk, the flood risk and the seismic risk in particular, because there's a wide variety of views within the government, as well as helping the Ministry of Finance understand their annual expected loss and the maximum probable loss. Another is we're, we're working quite well in Pakistan to, to raise funds uh, that would be climate change adaptation funds, but then really the implementation of the first phase of those funds would be disastrous management because in Pakistan there's been significant flood events that have happened over the past couple of years. Going forward there's uncertainty as to the increased frequency or the increased probability of these types of events occurring. In India we have a, a, a very large investment program. Um, right now, we have a national cyclone program, a first phase and a second phase, and that national cyclone program seeks to improve emergency preparedness and response capacity as well as understanding the coastal risk and mitigating some of that risk. We also have an engagement in Bihar, um, and, and this is really in response to a major flood in 2008, the largest flood that, that India has experienced since independence that affected three million individuals. In Sri Lanka, we're really looking at the, the flood risk in the East Coast. On an annual basis over the past several years, over 300,000 people are, are affected. This is, this is not insignificant, and the risk is both in the urban environment, the downstream environment, as well as the upstream environment, the, the watershed, as well as agricultural impacts. And so we're looking at taking a comprehensive approach to understand the flood, flood risk in this area and potentially engage in, 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 in activities to increase the resilience. On the risk financing side, there's the government has expressed a little bit of interest in, in helping support building out a comprehensive risk financing strategy that may include a, a cap DDO, contingent line of credit, a pot of money that the government can call on immediately after a major event, as well as support to, to, to sovereign risk transfer protection and private sector risk transfer protection for urban flooding as well as for agriculture, drought for example. In Bhutan, we're really we're helping on the technical assistance side. There's a, a disastrous management act that was passed, and they are, have requested a little bit of support in the implementation of that act. What does that actually look like in practice in the country? As well as supporting them in search and rescue, and, and helping uh, lay the foundation for understanding risk in a more limited way than some of the other, uh, some of the other countries, given the, the, the financial resources available. Finally, we're helping the government of Bhutan be able to increase resilience of their, their cultural heritage construction. They, they, they're a really well-known country with regards to their ability and their capacity to maintain their heritage in, a, in an evolving global environment.